Good morning, day 43 here. And you know what that means? We are halfway through the 12 week body transformation. I can't believe we're already halfway through. Like I said, time is gonna go whether you do it or not, so you might as well do it. So if you haven't started, join me, start doing it, start changing your body, start changing your life. So let's pull up the chart from last week. And uh, as you can see, I've been following the same pattern. Uh, it was a whopper of a Saturday as far as calorie wise. I started doing the crumble cookie review and the, the, did the Super Bowl feast cheat meal in the same day. So that added up to be a lot of calories. And yet somehow I still sneak some calories in for Sunday as well. Uh, my weight, uh, it didn't agree with me. Well, as you'd expect to see from the chart, I did do a 72 hour fast uh, as well. Um, I gained 0.6 pounds, which is not bad. But last night before I went to bed, I was looking in the mirror and I noticed muscle definition and separation in places I have never seen before. So that was really exciting. Regardless of the scale not really working with me the way I wanted to, um, you know, it was a very, very small difference in weight, but the progress that I'm seeing and feeling, I do felt like I maybe held a little bit of water for whatever reason uh, this morning. So it almost to me feels like I actually did lose weight, uh, even though the scale is not reflecting it. I'm not going to let it bother me because I'm seeing and feeling the results um, just all over my body. So it's, it's really exciting to see that. And I know it's going to continue to go down. Uh, today is going to be a similar day as last Saturday. I have my Crumble cookie review, and uh, I'm gonna do, I believe I'm gonna do the McDonald's 100 chicken nugget challenge. So that is not as high calorie as some of my traditional cheat meals, but it's still up there. So, hey, all in all, it been a, it's been a great week. So um, I'm just excited to continue this going. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. It feels like this week really dragged on. Pretty hungry after that 72 hour fast and, um, you know, so, yeah, but it's going good. So we're gonna hit the hit the gym here. I'm gonna get my crumble cookies and uh, <clears throat> that surge of energy and uh, that I get after eating those cookies. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another uh, massive workout afterwards. Probably weights and some cardio as well. So just kind of take advantage of that uh, of those carbs and sugar and just just crush it again. So maybe build up the appetite for later on. So. Hey, hope you guys are doing uh, as good, feeling as good as I am, and uh, just keep going forward. So, gonna crush these weights and uh, <laughs> gonna have me some cookies. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. Dude, what a day. After uh, weighing this morning, went to the gym, hour and 40 minutes, just crushed chest and back. And, uh, you know, it was an amazing workout because I knew I was gonna be getting to have those four crumble cookies <laughs> and uh, be able to do the weekly review on it. Those cookies were amazing. Uh, body soaked it up. I felt great afterwards. About 45 minutes after the uh, crumble cookies, uh, I, I decided to do another weight training session. I ended up doing uh, some biceps and a huge amount of forearms. Uh, I ended up taking about 40 minutes then I hopped on the treadmill and uh, did about 30 minutes of cardio, just steady state, uh, uh, you know, the 10% incline, about three miles an hour or so. And then uh, I was just feeling good. I was like, you know, I want to test my one mile time. Don't ask me where these things <laughs> come from or what inspires me to do it. I just felt a good burst of energy. Legs felt good and warmed up after just everything. And I'm like, okay. I'm gonna try to run it in seven minutes and 30 seconds, which is uh, eight miles an hour. So got my legs kind of acclimated and uh, warmed up even further. Set it eight miles an hour and ran that baby, I ran the mile, 7.30. And I have to say that is pretty close to my, um, to my capacity at the moment. So felt felt great after that. Um, you know, and again, I, I'm, I'm not a runner. Run for fun? What the <laughs> hell kind of fun is that? <laughs> I, I don't run, I haven't run in decades, you know, like it's just something I want to try to do and it, uh, you know, ended up working out. So like, again, these type of things that are happening, you know, being fat your whole life, you just forget what your body can do. I mean, I, I look at a seven, eight, nine foot wall and I'm like, shoot, let me just run up and grab it and climb up it. And sure enough, like, like I don't even know what I can do. Oh, go run a mile in whatever time or three miles or, you know, just I feel like sprinting over to the store, to the ice cream section, you know, <laughs> like just stuff like that. It's, oh, it's such an amazing feeling to just have a body that can function and do things again. I'm telling you, you 
you gotta commit to this journey. I mean, you think about the exercise, the dieting, all these things, you know, like, forget that stuff. Like, you know, you don't pay the price for success. You pay the price for failure. You, you know, you reap the benefits of success, being able to do these things with my body. And it's just been, you know, really, really exciting. So, oh, that whole thing was awesome. And then after that, that while, uh, that mile wiped me out. So, uh, I ended up just taking a, a rest for a little bit and just kind of laying down for a half hour. It kind of wrecked my appetite because I got to admit, after those crumble cookies, even an hour afterwards, I was like, man, I am ready to eat an enormous meal. So I was like, oh boy, I got to do something. So yeah, so that mile slowed me down and, uh, you know, rested a little bit. And uh, then, you know, I was going to do the, the hunt, uh, McDonald's 100 nugget uh, challenge. And uh, I ended up watching a bunch of videos on it and just watching person after person after person fail. And I was like, oh, geez, <laughs> should I try this? So anyway, I'm not going to spoil the video, but I'm going to say uh, what happened is not what I expected. So I'll leave it at that. And uh, after that, I uh, felt like I needed the urge to jump on the treadmill again. I actually felt pretty good and uh, I knew if I could get my body moving, get my blood flowing, it would really help uh, digest especially absolute garbage food like McDonald's which just wants to sit in your stomach for days and not digest. So I got on that treadmill again 10% incline and just walked for 50 straight minutes just gushing sweat and uh wow. and so i just finished that and here i am so i have to say i don't feel quite that tired just yet it's uh, about 8 30 in the evening and uh you know overall it was just a really really fun day so you know we're halfway through this body transformation and you know it's going amazing yeah you know have i lost as much weight as i potentially could have if i wasn't doing these cheat meals no of course not but you know i've dropped what is it uh 18 ish pounds or so at this point but you know i'm noticing more muscle definition i just separation of muscle and i'm feeling better i'm getting in better cardio shape I mean, my body is transforming so yeah the the scale could drop a little bit more but you know what i'm having fun in the process this is not killing me and torturing me to death you know this is something i can do and once it's completed you know when i bulk up and try to put some real quality muscle on you know i'm going to gain a little bit of weight i don't have to go into the next cut just dreading it because i know i can do it this way yeah i don't get quite the the, the results if i just went crazy low calorie and just dropped but you know who wants to live like that like his life is too short for that so you know i hope this kind of gets through to you know that you can live a healthy lifestyle and just still really enjoy food and you know like just discovering the things now my body can do it almost feels like for the first time from just being fat my whole life i'm telling you man oh just what a feeling. It's it's just so incredible. This type of feeling and just that elation and just joy you get. Let me tell you something. The hell with all the hard work and the dieting. You you forget that, you know? Like, yeah, it's hard, it's discipline, but you know, you feel good about yourself when you do it, and then this is the result, this is the reward, you know? And I'm I still got another six weeks to go. You know, so oh man, just incredible. You know, I want to encourage you guys, you know, if you're struggling with the diet, if you're struggling to, to get your butt in the gym do it. Pay the price. Do what you know you need to do, and it is all going to be worth it tenfold. Uh, I'm telling you, you know, do what you need to do, and you are, you're going to get the results. You're going you're gonna to get that joy and peace, you know, when your body changes and you just start feeling good and have a lot of energy. I have to say, no complaints at all. Worked hard, going to work even harder the second six weeks and, you know, just, just make this final run. And, you know, I think I'm going to be really, really happy with the results. So I'm, I'm super, super blessed to, to be able to have the opportunity to do this. I'm excited to be able to do it with a bunch of you guys out there. So keep up the comments, keep up the hard work, and we will see you in the next video.